In verse 11 of Nehemiah chapter 13, Nehemiah recounts, So I contended with the rulers and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together and set them in their place. If you'll remember, Nehemiah was the Persian king's cupbearer. And King Artaxerxes had allowed Nehemiah to return to his homeland, Jerusalem, to rebuild the walls around the city. After the walls were completed, Nehemiah had returned to the king. But we learn in verse 6 that Nehemiah again obtained leave and returned to the city. And verse 7 says, And I came to Jerusalem and discovered the evil that Eliashib had done for Tobiah in preparing him a room in the courts of the house of God. Now you may remember that Eliashib was the high priest. And Tobiah? Well, Tobiah was an Ammonite official who, along with his cohort Sanballat, was deeply disturbed that a man had come to seek the well-being of the children of Israel. And this despicable duo continued to stir up dissension against Nehemiah throughout the rebuilding process. So you've got to wonder, what was Tobiah, an outspoken opponent of the Jewish people, doing with a room in the temple courts? And we don't really get the answer in Scripture, but we do know that it didn't end well. Nehemiah said, And it grieved me bitterly. Therefore, I threw all the household goods of Tobiah out of the room. And as you read the rest of this chapter, you'll find out Tobiah's room in the temple wasn't the only problem Nehemiah discovered. And in this story, we see a practical application of a principle frequently used in the business world today. I think it's a good ministry principle too. Don't expect what you don't inspect. Nehemiah, under the direction and wisdom of God, came back to check on what God had done through him. And it begs the question for you and I today, what is it that we have done for the Lord that we need to go back and check up on? Make sure your expectations are being met by inspecting what you've done.